Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I will be talking about something computer science -y instead of business and finance -y, uh, but still relating to my personal experience and like the title suggests, I will be discussing how I taught myself Java very fast and how you can too in an easy uh, and understandable manner where you can actually start coding instead of just knowing the concepts but not actually being able to code any projects. So let's just get straight into it. So a little bit of background, really quick background. I went into college with basically no computer science experience as a computer science honors major. So that was that was kind of rough for me. I, I basically took one computer science principles class where they taught you about like how internet and computers work and maybe a little bit of JavaScript and that's it. So, I really did not know anything about coding pretty much. And the first class I had, the way UT structures it, they just throw you into coding for the honors kids at least, because they expect you to have already had experience. So I did not have experience. We were coding in Java and I had no clue what I was doing. So during the summer, I emailed the professor. I was like, I don't know about what I'm doing. Can you send me some resources? And he did, he was really nice. <sniffs> Dr. Lin is great. This is one of the resources I definitely recommend. So you're not <clears throat> gonna get as much like actual hands-on coding experience or at least I didn't because I couldn't figure out how to set it up because it's a very old course but the concepts are very very great um, and I will probably link it in the description or like put it somewhere here so you have it but basically it's by Mehran Sah Sahami I think and it's an intro to CS course at Stanford and they recorded it and it's great he's a great professor easy to understand he goes through all the concepts and there are like activities and coding assignments but I think it was just so old I could never figure out how to get the software I really tried I spent so many hours I reached out to my friends I was like I can't set up Eclipse with this thing it just would not work so I was like whatever I'll just understand the concepts and I'll figure it out later um, but this course was great to understand like what objects are what kinds of variables there are so I think it's a great concept course. Um, coding experience, not so much, but it is great to understand how things work. And then the other thing that I would recommend as a resource that I used, that I personally used, is a textbook called Head First Java. And I'll maybe put like a picture uh, of the book or maybe link it. <clears throat> Do not buy the book. You can find PDFs online, uh, maybe. Do you, uh, maybe I didn't say that. but. I think there are ways you can find the book, uh, but what, however way you find it, I think Head First Java is a great book on how to learn a language. They have it for JavaScript and other languages too. I tried reading JavaScript and JavaScript's great. I did not read the whole book, but for Head First Java, I literally read that book from the very beginning and I just read chapter for chapter. I didn't read the entire book because at a specific point I was like, okay, I know what I'm doing. I can stop reading it. But what I was doing, I went, into college and like the days before school started I went to the professor and I was like hey I don't know what I'm doing you know I don't know how to code what should I do or any recommendations and he was like I think you should drop the class and go to the lower level and that would put me behind a semester because I wouldn't be taking classes with my cohort of you know dual degree kids we're the first class and I wouldn't be with my class and he was like you know he, he told me this anecdote of a story and I'm sorry if, if you came here for solely resources please feel free to skip ahead of about my resources but for him he, he gave me this whole anecdote about this kid who was really smart and he came in with coding experience like he knew what he was doing and he came into data structures I think he got a C and then he, you know, every year he kept going, you know, it just went, you know, B and then A. So he worked his way up. But this kid, the professor was telling me, this kid knew what he was doing, came into data structures and barely passed. And he recommended that kid to drop the class. The kid didn't, got a C. And, you know, he got better and he's now a professor at some university. But he was basically telling me like, hey, you don't have any experience. This kid who did have experience almost failed the class. Even though he's a professor now, it's probably best for you to drop it, go to like intro to programming and come back. And I was like, okay, okay, that was, okay, cool. So then I went to uh, my advisor, you know, because I like to get opinion, you know, these are people who have seen lots of students come through the ranks. And I told him too, and, and you know, they talk, faculty talk, staff talk. Um, and I still know the difference between faculty and staff is, but anyway, they talk to each other and he was like, yeah, you know, I know about this. So there is an option. You could, you know, take the non-honors version maybe or take the intro to CS. That would put you behind a semester, but you could, you know, maybe take a summer semester to catch yourself up or something like that. Or you'd just be taking classes with the class lower than you. And I was like, okay. I did not want to pay for a summer semester. Didn't have the money for that. And I didn't want to be behind because like 
colleges for making connections and I would not be taking classes with my cohort. So I was like, no. So I powered through it, you know, I was like, I'm gonna do this myself. And so here is, okay, this is where you should skip to if you're here for the resources and how to be successful in teaching yourself a language. You have to be disciplined. If you set yourself, if, you're set, if, it, if you set your mind to do something, you better do it and stick to it. So remember in the summer before college, I had watched the Mehran Sahami course and that was awesome. Definitely recommend watching those. If you can't do the coding assignments, that's fine. And then while I was reading the textbook for data structures for the class where it was talking about, you know, arrays, linked lists, trees, and, you know, things that I did not understand. I was like, what is a variable? You know, and they were like, no, you know, do arrays and all that. And arrays are very basic. And I was like, I have no clue what this stuff is. I did not, I did not know how that worked. So I was reading that book, but I was also reading Head First Java. Remember this book. Head First Java is such a great book. It's it's a thick textbook, I think, and it is a textbook, but the reason I love it and I recommend it is because it's so easy to read. The way the authors have strictly written it is like, it reads like a comic or a cartoon. They have like drawings everywhere, speech bubbles and everything that explain the concept as it goes. And the text isn't too small. It's not like textbook font, if I remember correctly. It's like some more, I feel like it was written in Comic Sans, to be honest. <laughs> Part of it was written in Comic Sans, but it made it feel so much just easier to read, easier to understand the pictures and everything. And then there'd be like puzzles. It was reading like, like reading a puzzle book. And so it was, it was kind of fun to read. Um, it's not like I would dread to read textbook. Like uh, I'm reading algorithms, it sucks. Anyway, so bad, uh, nightmares. Um, but this one is very easy to read it. It reads like a children's book and you learn stuff. It breaks stuff down from the very beginning. Um, and there are coding assignments that you can download and practice with. I think if you bought the actual book, you would be able to. I did not buy the book, so I did not be able to. But anyway, it, it, it's also a great concept course. I would definitely recommend reading it, even if you watched uh, Mehran Sahami's course. But this is the only book that I read to, read Java, uh, to learn Java, and I think it works really good. And then the other part about that is really just doing coding. So obviously I was learning how to code, while in the class so I had to do projects and so you may or may not have this resource available to you but we had like projects that we needed to do we were given starter code and an assignment and we had to do it and so it was really learning by doing that you apply what you've read in the book so you go oh this is how an array works blah 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 I think I did play around with like Eclipse um I use IntelliJ now, but I played with Eclipse when reading Head First Java, and I was like, wow, I got Hello World to work. And I was like, wow, you know, setting setting up Eclipse and IntelliJ is so hard in the beginning. I could not set that up. But getting it to say Hello World and printing things, that was really cool, you know, the very beginning. But once you've gotten the concept, so those are the only two resources I, I used, the video course by Mehran Sahami and the Head First Java textbook. Those are the only things I used. And by the time, you know, I was, I had rest, read most of the basics of Head First Draw. I, I think I was like halfway done with the book and I was like, I don't need it anymore. I understand what's going on. And it was like going into more complicated stuff. I was like, I don't need to know this now. Um, but I think it was really like doing the coding projects that really helped me. So you do need to learn by doing, but you do need to understand the concepts first too. So understand the concepts by reading the stuff. And then if you can find projects on your own, you know, do those projects because that helps you solidify. And I really do need to give a shout out to my pair programming partner. Um, he's probably not gonna watch this, but I had a really great pair programming partner, Adam. He had a lot, lots of experience, but he was so patient with me. And it was a symbiotic relationship, okay? I was, I was not a leech. <laughs> but by p programming with him on those assignments, I was able to learn from him, I, I think at a faster rate because you have somebody there, you can ask questions like, why is it like this? Like, what is static? What is public? Why, oh, this is a return value. Like, oh, parameters, this is how it works, blah, 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 right? It's just so much, e like you can read that stuff and it explains it to you, but you, when you have somebody explaining it to you right then and there with an example that you're doing a project in, that's really great. And the other thing I recommend is asking for help. So my professor also gave me, um, you know, tutors that I could reach out to and I didn't, utilize them that often but I did go sometimes and it was really helpful and I definitely recommend you know thanking them uh, you know writing cards giving gifts and all that because they they're giving their time to me and I'm really grateful for that but yeah like if you need help reach out for help and I'm speaking for this like 
from the experience of a college student going into a CS class not knowing anything and how I was able to overcome that. If you're somebody not in college, you know, who doesn't have the projects available for you, maybe you don't have um, upperclassmen there that you can ask and you just want to learn Java, start with those resources that I said, you know, the course and the textbook. And then, you know, the internet is so great these days. Code Academy is too basic for the basic versions. Like you can get some kind of coding experience, but try it out, you know, find projects that you can actually do in code because when you code, that's when you solidify those concepts. But anyway, this is to serve as motivation to anybody feeling down that if you don't believe that you can do it, start believing in yourself more. If somebody else doesn't believe in you, walk away, it's okay. Like I literally had people telling me to drop the class and go down to a lower level and then, after I completed the class, you know, the next year people were like, oh man, share your experience. So you can do it. If you think you can do it, if you put your mind to something, you can do it. So I think that's the most important thing I want you to take. Like not even of these resources, like just learning anything, you know, musical instrument, any other language, put your mind to it, you can do it. And ask for help, you know, like I wouldn't have gotten the, the, the course if I didn't ask my professor. The Head First Java textbook was written in the syllabus, like if you need some help, check this out. And I checked it out and I was like, this is great. And I was putting in double the work. I literally didn't join anything. I was like holed up in my dorm because I was like, if I fail out of college, there's no point <laughs> in me having fun because I'm not gonna be here the next day, <laughs> the next semester. So I was like reading two textbooks just for this one class. So it, it was that time for me that first semester, but I made it through. You can too. Ask for help. Upperclassmen are amazing. And yeah, just ask your peers too. You know, if they're going through things, the same thing as you, like going through the same project, ask your friends. If you don't understand a concept, ask your friends. Most people are gonna be very nice, but believe in yourself and put in the work. Like if you wanna learn it, you gotta learn it. Like you gotta read it. I was reading, I had a goal of like one to two chapters every week cause I needed to catch up. Like I couldn't physically do the project so I didn't know how to code. But anyway, oh, sorry for another long story time, but that's how I did it and how you can too. And I will, I think, link the resources or like write the names of the things in the description below so you can check it out or check them out. But hopefully this inspires you so that you can do what you set your mind to do, learn whatever language, whatever skill you want to do. And yeah, hopefully this was helpful. And I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys have a amazeballs day. Bye.